this thing on. I can't even tell. I'm gonna put my freaking glasses on. Oh, there you are. How you doing? Welcome back to Watson's Models. It's been a couple weeks, a month, something like that. I don't know. Look, uh, yeah, things are starting to settle down a little bit. And uh, I have, I got a lot of stuff to share with you, but I got to break it up into like three or four different videos. Some remote control tanks, two of them that we're going to cover on. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, Curtis P40 Warhawk, right? And, uh, and then I've got a, what is that? That's a Das Werk 16th scale German half track with a uh, Pack 40 on it. And I believe it's a Pack 40. Can't tell from here. Anyhow, it's way the hell over there. So, um, tonight we're going to do a, I've been waiting on this, by the way, Cool Bank. Here's a 16th scale radio-controlled Stewart tank in this little box. Look how tiny that box is, man. So, anyhow, let's anyway. get this, uh, let's get her open and see what's, uh, what's inside. Handy-dandy uh, box opener. Okay. Yeah, I've seen this come out, man. It, like, took a while for it to, you know, be stocked in the States. And, uh, I wasn't about to pay, you know, all that overseas shipping. But, here we go. You open the box, and here's what you see. That's cool. All right, so, let's see if we can dump this dude out. Very nice. It's not packed too tight. And, uh, all right, so there's the, uh, the top of the box. Here's one end. I got tow cables in the way from a different project. All right. And more box art. And you can see pretty thick box taped. So we'll go ahead and slice open the tape. All right, let's see how this works. <clears throat> okay. All right. Here's how it came. We have our charging cable and some decals. And they just look like regular stick-on deals. <clears throat> uh, let's see what we got here. Pretty cool remote. Won't be hard to uh, remember where this goes. We've got some fire buttons right here. The thing is, you get these hang-along tanks like this one here, or a Tong Day. You know, they all look the same. So unless you're scratching on the back what they belong to, or you're not keeping them together, you kind of lose, kind of lose uh, where they go. But I like it. It just looks militaristic, right? And I guess we have a speaker here. So, cool deal. And, uh, okay. Requires uh, some AA batteries, four of them. Completely different design than what we're used to, right? All right. Uh, we have an instruction booklet in here. Okay, there's one for the transmitter and one for getting this uh, vehicle put together. That'll be fun. I have a 1.6 scale version of this tank. So, <clears throat> cool. Pieces of parts. Generous partis. Okay, there's a lot there. Make sure you use proper cutters, do a little cleaning. But we're going to test fit this stuff and I'll probably just do it on video. And I think that is it for this side. It is. Pick this 
this up. Very cool. Oh my gosh, look how loose the tracks are. Okay, workable suspension. Now I wonder, I think we're going to have to do some track tension on here, but uh, no, I don't want to just. That's interesting. Okay, so here's the battery. DC seven. What is that? Seven point four volts. Let me uh, let me go get some double A's. Hang on a minute. Oh, this is kind of cool. It has a little, there's little magnets here. So it's a magnetic uh, closure, which is kind of cool. Um, all right, well, let's plop that dude in there. Let's see. I'd be curious to see how well this thing closes, if at all. There we go. Interesting. Small attempt at some interior details. However, you can see the inside of the turret. So be careful there. Now where'd they hide the, uh, the on off switch on? It's underneath the, uh, underneath here. Do have a blinking light, which uh, indicates power. Cool. All right, let's uh, let's load this thing up. All right, this is a complicated uh, unit here. Um, the way that it works is that we have a vehicle selection mode. There's three different ones. I guess it depends on what's inside the the motherboard. We have uh, there's a winch control here, which doesn't pertain to this and uh, your light control, um, your power switch, there's where you unlock it to start it. And then of course you have your normal, uh, you know, traverse, elevation, that kind of stuff. And then your gunfire. What's cool here is that the gun uh, does have a light at the end of it. And uh, I'll reposition the camera so you can see this. So let me go ahead and do that. Now, when you start the tank up for the first time, the smoke generator automatically comes on. It's got kind of a Whoa, 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 kind of noise. Uh, just turn it off by hitting S, okay? And then we will mess with the other switches. Um, voice group on off main is M. Vehicle headlight control, etc. Okay, so let's see if you can hear this. don't know is that's cool 360 degrees oh it has recoil <laughs> that's awesome It appears that the track tension's already adjusted. <coughs> I wonder if there's a volume control on here. All right, let's see what we can do here. Center button. Let's see where the smoke is. Let me turn the smoke off. And 
So the gun doesn't stay in the up or down position. You actually have to hold the toggle down in order for it to work. But I love that this turret goes all the way around. Now, there is a speed sensitivity to this thing, and I think that's what this switch is for. I'm still learning it. Doesn't matter. This thing's freaking cool, man. I'm going to put it on the ground and run it around a little bit. Hang on a second. The hatches are positionable. Now on this one, there appears to be some oil residue on here. You can see that. And I don't know what that's for, but and it could have been from shipping. You know, it could have been some of that smoke oil that got out and ran wherever. I have to locate how to how to do that. But um, anyways, the uh, yeah, they're positionable. It'd be neat if you could actually put some figures in there i suppose for static display you could um of course the the top hatch is open same situation you can see inside but you get a 360 degree turret rotation which is really awesome no clicking sounds and um the track appears to be working just fine even though it looks like there's a ton of looseness there like you need some track tension it, it seems to operate fine. I haven't run it on rough terrain, obviously, because I just opened it. But it does have rubber uh, rubber road wheels on here. You can feel that. And lots of accessories to put on it. So this is very confusing radio. It took me a couple of seconds to figure out how to get this thing to power up. <clears throat> and I have to learn what all these dials are. But that's what you get in a box, man. Um, and again, here's all your pieces, parts. And I'm going to set this next to my 1.6 scale, just to give you an idea. Here, let's just carry it over there. <laughs> there you go. All right. 16th scale, 6th scale. Humma, humma, humma. Yeah. But it is pretty awesome. So... The only hiccup right now is the parts. Um, on sprue B, look what's missing. This thing was packed, all right, with missing grab handles. So we've got one, two, three, four, five grab handles that are missing. Now, I did check the bag, and I did find one loose one in the bag, all right? So that leaves me with four of them that are missing. So I'm going to have to reach out to the to uh the manufacturer and find out where the hell is my parts um on sprue a okay everything seems to be there <clears throat> and the same thing with uh c okay it's got some of your tools and your weapon and all of that but that's frustrating man you don't want grab handles to be missing um it's just gonna make the model look incomplete so all right, that's the only negative thing I found on this, and uh, I'll let you guys know in a later video if I have any problems. Getting what's owed to me. I'm actually kind of surprised on this. I was, you know, expecting worse. Now, I don't like the fact that you have visible, you know, Phillips head screws there and stuff, so we'll have to figure out how we can tighten that up, paint it, camouflage it, do whatever. But, uh... All in all, it's a really neat model.
Thanks for watching. I know it's simple, kind of stupid, but whatever.